guys, what's going on? Fly my pawn here, and welcome back to V Rising. Since we last left off, if I do recall correctly, we had just defeated the first two of four bosses that have the very special items. And for this stream, what we're going to be doing is we're going to complete the other two bosses. Or at the very least, that is the intended plan for today. Namely, we are going to be doing as much as we can to get as strong as we can. We're going to have to buff up. And obviously, we're going to have to break in and see what we can do against the big bad for today. Uh, but before that, obviously, we're going to need higher quality gear. And we're going to need to repair against the fight. So that is also another thing that we have to do. But I digress. Without further ado, let's get into things and see what happens. Now, naturally, this is going to be relatively hard because we've only got two out of the four materials that we need for the upgrades that we're trying to pursue, but we're doing the best that we can, right? So we're just trying to build ourselves up so that way we can really take the fight to whatever his face is. I've forgotten the name of the third boss, but I do believe he's called the One? I don't know. But either way, we need to take him out, and that is going to be much more difficult than intended, or expected, or rather. Because that is going to require us to upgrade our gear a little bit. So our first objective to making this a reality is to get the materials necessary to upgrade both our slashers and the bow. We need the slashers and bow, because obviously if we don't, then we're going to lose. But ultimately, it just comes down to whether we'll be successful or not. But we're going to gather everything that we can here in order to make this more viable. Grab literally everything. There we go. All right. Now, for this next part, we're going to need to go in upstairs, and we're going to quickly go and set up what upgrades we think we need for the occasion. We're going to take a seat here, and we're going to send everybody out once more. We're going to do this immediately, though, because obviously it's going to be better. Send somebody out there. We need to send people out to get the Christine High and Ghost Rooms. So we're going to go over and send... Uh, actually, hold on. Let's go over here instead first and start sending them out. Uh, gold jewelry and schematics are viable, but we should probably send them over here, so Paige can take advantage of that. And we'll throw in... Ronald, I guess? Yeah, Paige and Ronald. There we go. We continue to get more grease, so we send in Wolf. And beyond that, we send in... Maybell, I guess? Yeah, let's send in Wolf and Maybell. For this one, we need to send in Alfred at least. Because that'll help our odds of getting ghost rooms. And I guess we'll send in Mo. There we go. And that leaves us with one more individual, and they are 638. So I guess the next best thing we can do is get some iron ore on the side. So there you go. Done. That is everybody sent out and ready to go. I'll quickly toss in the silver ore and throw them into each furnace here for future processing. And 
and I will quickly just organize these, that way I can start stuffing these into furnaces. Take the gold while we're at it, why not? Toss in the sulfur while we're at it. There we go. And there we are. And we'll toss in the hide. If we got the mutant grease, which is probably going to be also used here in order to process more. Alright. Okay, and there we go. That's going to make a whole slew of pristine leather. I'll take out the bat leather while I can here. There we go. So far, so good. Alright, we've got plenty of schematics. Slowly just building towards upgrade after upgrade, which is a good thing. Let's see. What do we get next time? This time, uh, we get Grim Knight gloves, which is not nowhere useful to us, and nowhere near as useful that is. Okay, Let's toss those into here. Okay, we've got plenty of the silkworms, at the very least. Now we just need to send in the cloth. There we go. The rest we can probably recycle at this point, because there's no reason to keep them. So, toss... Well, grab these. All of these should be fine. There we go. Okay, solid. Toss those in. Toss these in. Toss the gems in. Herbs can go in here. Alchemy stuff can all go in there. Okay. Got the charged battery set up. We can toss in all these. Knowledge can go there. Consumables can go there. We're gonna grab the schematics here. Blood potions we don't need to worry about. Empire lockbox, we'll just toss those in so that way we get plenty of coins we can use. We'll grab the potions, grab these two bits here. The bits and bobs as you will. Okay. We are gonna make some more healing potions. There we go. Quickly transform into a wolf so that way it's easy to go up and down as usual. Grab these. And while those are producing, we can put everything away here, except I'm going to need to grab the knowledge here, so I'm going to quickly go over here, get that set up. Alright, thread plate, not bad. Just need to deposit all these, and then we should, in the end, be good. Deposit those. Deposit the herbs. Any progress on our plants here? Yes, yes, indeed. Okay. Nice. 
Nice. these that's easy I really like these axes when it comes to harvesting like geez they make the job so much easier okay enough gushing about that we are going to set up the cotton okay cotton goes there the leg briars go I cannot build here. here. Okay. Anything else? Nope. From the looks of it, we basically grabbed everything. Though herbs are doing quite well, I would say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll just get one extra. There we go. Grab the iron, because we can smelt that. Grab the copper, because we can smelt that. And... Here we go. quickly toss these in, so that way we got those set up. Okay. Alright, I'll leave those to process on their own. Now we just need Onyx Tears. And in order to make those, we need blood crystal, power cores, and gold ingots. So, power cores are relatively easy to grab, because we just need the radium for it. And then, of course, the batteries, which is easy enough to procure. We just need sludge-filled canisters, and for the radium itself, we need sulfur and tech scrap. Thankfully, we do have plenty of canisters that we've been making thus far. So now we can take advantage of that very thing and get that done. So we're going to take the radium alloys that we currently have because we're going to need those. We are going to need more blood crystal from the looks of it, so if we want to upgrade our materials that's going to be a necessity. But we can take the tech scrap that we currently have. Uh, we're going to need sulfur, which I do believe we are going to need more of, so that is a issue that we're going to have to address. But otherwise, we've got plenty of canisters that we can take advantage of, so there you go. So we're going to take the canisters here. we got the batteries, which is going to be used for other parts here. Tossed in all these, there we go. That's going to make a whole slew of power cores. We just need the sulfur, which is going to be a chore and a half. There we go. That's going to make a whole slew of what we need. And now we just need to wait on those. So in the meantime, while we wait on those, I do believe it is in our best interest to... I guess we'll go to the merchant, see if they have anything worth noting. So we're going to grab all these coins here. And we're going to go check out the merchant real quick, see if they've got anything nice. I guess also, if need be, we can wait for a specific upgrade in the uh, next event that we're going to be running into. But again, it's not a huge deal. It's not that pressing. At least to us, anyways. Regardless, it does seem that we can talk with this treasure hunter without actually having to hide ourselves, so that's can good. I interest you in a little... As for what we can get, we can theoretically just buy the Onyx Tears, but I don't think that's the wise choice to do. Otherwise, beyond that, it really just depends if we want something special to look forward to. Let's see. 
Ah, given there's no reason to buy anything else, I'm gonna buy the office tears. They seem more useful. And we're gonna need the ghost yarn anyway, so might as well grab them when we can. There we go. Practicality over beauty for now is the uh, aim of the game here. Uh, the downside is, of course, we can't teleport with these items, so we're going to have to run the, our way back. Which kind of sucks, but not by much. We can make this work. Now, if I was really uh, wise, I'd probably go around and do the whole tech scrap run, get some batteries, which I actually going to do. I might as well, right? I might as well. Come on, Daisy. But yeah, we'll, we'll go do a tech run. Or a scrap run. If only for the fact that it will get us more resources that we need, and we are going to need as many batteries as we can procure, because that just gets us more onyx. Which is really nice. Besides, we need a, a way to reliably wait for the next part of the event, so why not? Okay, there we go. That's another... Just deal with the tech scrap here again. Always gonna want depleted batteries, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's the first one. We get struck with lightning. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so all we go is just up here. Oh, hello. Ahoy. And yeah, harvest away. Here we go. Oh. about the lightning that's coming across and just ruining my day, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, grab all that. There we go. We don't need the discharge, so we'll leave that be. All right. Alright, our next target's gonna be this Tracendian camp, so we'll rush over there. Shouldn't be too hard to get over there with relative ease. In fact, if we go all the way over here, yep, there we go. The 
yeah, no. Me doing this is necessary, however. I do. I'm not too worried about the, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm more worried about get, getting the tech scrap here. Because we can wait on the tech, or the, uh, Rift Incursion Tier 1 until Tier 2 comes out, because I'd rather that. But yeah, Tier 2, uh, Rift Incursions are where it's at for us right now, so... The more we get done there, the better. Until then, we're just gonna be grinding away, gathering the resources that we need, and we should be fine. Ideally, what we want is to just really ruin the enemy's day. But we'll see. We'll see what we can produce with our uh, blood types. Alright, uh, next target's gonna be this Tristan Hackham. Okay, there we go. Alright, our blood's looking a little low. It's at 1.6, but we're not in that much of a rush to get a new blood type. That is, you know, just how it runs. Go across here. Oh, hello. Always can use more. Uh, as you can see, the gate has been closed, which is unfortunate, but not unexpected. use more. Okay, let's grab the wood, because why not? Okay, off we go. From here, we just make our way over to this one. break. Is yet yeah, another area cleared out and ready to go. As for where we go next, we go up to here and then we go down. And then we can uh, wrap up our journey there. And we should have at least enough to just barely count for 40. If not slightly higher. But I mean, at that point, it's. Uh, well, I guess I don't need to even go to the last camp at that point, like... Grab everything here... I guess we'll see how things go. There we 
go. That is 41 batteries. That is exactly what we want. Uh, the rift incursions are active for another 20 minutes. That's good. That means we should be able to get the batteries that we need for this area with the relative ease. four Another set sorted. I guess we could theoretically get more if we really, really wanted, but there is no need. There we go. Okay, charge those batteries. Here we go. This will bring us up to the 40 mark that we necessarily, well, that we desire. So there we go. Charged. There we go. All right. And with that, we can leave this area. How much do we got? We still got eleven. Oh, still got eleven batteries left, so that's good. Now this. Uh, what I can do is go over to this camp here, get that done. Oh, nearly got struck by lightning there. Well, that's fine. But yeah, we go to this camp now in order to get some more. Grab everything here. Scrap away. Alright, let them just work it out. So there we go. That is a whole slew more of tech batteries. We've managed to get a staggering 16 on top of everything. We are now going to make our way over to the Storm Drain Hills, which is going to get us more of the charged batteries. Or at the very least, it's going to help in getting us more, at the very least. Then we're going to rush our way through, through the normal area here. Then we'll go from there. Basically ignore the majority of this uh, smog area. Stick to the right. Alright, up and down we go. And 
yeah, we should be there in a matter of seconds. Yeah, here we go. Was a good clear. Where's the horse? You know what? Whatever. I can just resummon. I guess the horse died. <laughs> I would assume that's the case, anyways. is not friendly to vampires. Cool. Yeah, it's very much not friendly to vampires. They really don't want you to go through this area. And again, the lightning's just par for the door, honestly. We'll stabilize the lightning harvester that's perfectly fine. We're charging 10 batteries at a time anyways, so that's to be expected. Alright, we are down to 10 batteries now. This will get us to 70, which is perfectly fine. And I think that's all we can really get right now. 70? But that's fine. That's fine doing our utmost here anyways, so there you go. Okay, so far so good. Uh, yeah, no, there is nothing more for us to do here, so we're gonna get the heck out of here. Alright. Quickly rush before we get, uh, harassed by the lightning a bit too much. Here we go. Bend to my will. Do some dominate mount antics. My steed. Yeah, no, Daisy died. That would explain a lot. Alright. Back to base. Off we go. Drop that, because we don't need that. Uh, otherwise, everything seems to be in order, so yeah, off we go. This should theoretically be enough to cover most, if not every, expense that we need to get our hands on. 
Or at the very least, it will solve the uh, power core issue. Which we're going to need a lot of, not only for M EMPs, but we're also going to need them for, well, anything really. But EMPs will probably be one of the few big things that it's going to be used for, above all else. But again, who knows, right? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Well, that is not expected, but okay. I could go and fight that, but there I don't think there's a need. I don't need to go overboard there. But yeah, that's the first part of the grind that we need to get done anyways. Because power cores are going to be the focal point of our uh, run. We're obviously going to need more radium to get those done. But alas. Ghost Shard is also going to be a very essential tool that we're going to need. So we're going to have to go get more from the... But we're just going to have to get more in general. So we're going to have to go back to the other area there. We're also going to have to get as much herbs as we can. But again, we need to focus on uh, what we need, which is the Ghost Yarn, which I do believe is... which we only really need shrooms for, don't we? Okay, we're depositing everything. Well, first let's uh, pro drop the process first. That'll save us uh, some sorting time. Gem storage, herb storage... We've got seeds here, which we can actually utilize before we go. Okay, deposit all these, grab all these. We do want the onyx tiers, but that can be saved for later. We can actually get two extra charges here if we want to go out there again. But, eh, it's fine. But yeah, we're grabbing those, we're depositing these, we're going to need the cloth, we are going to need... Well, yeah, the cloth is the cloth is the main ingredient here. Uh, drop those in. Drop these in. Keep the weapons on us. Uh, seven minutes until the rift incursions end. Okay. Right. I guess uh, we'll set up the seeds now. Okay, morning lilies. There we go. That is the morning lilies set up. Set those up. Alright, let's go into here. Deposit these. Alright, let's get these cloths set up and put into the machine here, because obviously we're going to need as much as we can. There we go. Alright. From here, all we do is we just take all these. That is 14. Perfect. Yep, we are going to need more sulfur, so that is an inevitability. Done and done. Alright, there we go. More power cores on the way. While those are processing, we just need the blood crystals. So our next objective is going to be getting as many blood crystals as we can get our grubby little hands on. So that is going to be our next target. Toss in the alchemy there. Toss in the weapons for now, because we don't need them. Uh, I'm going to go with a rogue blood here to start us off. Actually, no. We need worker blood. So we're going to exit. Well, first we're going to need to go up here, grab ourselves the required material here. So we're going to go grab all our blood types here. We've been processing quite a bit after all. Grab the alchemy for the herbs there. Alright, but yeah. 
We are going to need more blood crystal. I, I think we're going to have to wait on that. No, actually, no, I can do it real quick if I uh, rush it. Although, do I really want to use worker blood? No. I should probably save my time for... Uh, let's go brute blood. Oh, no. Save brute blood for... Well... Do we want to deal a lot more damage or do we want to just focus on defense? And just get brute blood as a means of uh, healing. I'm gonna go with the brute blood for uh, the boss. I feel that's much more useful in hindsight to what we're trying to do here. But anyways, we are still gonna need to go to Dracula's demise though. So yeah, we're gonna have to go north anyways. We'll keep the uh, blood on us though, because I mean, we still got 75% rogue blood, right? Might as well uh, let it run its course before we go any further. But beyond that, we just go to Dracula's Demise to get all those crystals, and we should be good. Shouldn't even take that long in hindsight now that I think about it, but other than that, yeah. Once we do get the blood crystals, though, we're going to have to bolt it once it hits the last minute mark. That is going to be an issue. But other than that, we should be able to make it within reasonable amount of time frame. And hey, if we're lucky, we get some high-tier gear on top of everything. Which will be useful to us. Okay, we got two minutes, basically. So we gotta be quick on this. Oh, hello. Yeah, so this is the inherent danger when you're trying to get blood crystals. Yeah, they, the uh, manticore that we had bought prior for the boss that was trying to give us uh, grief is gonna basically rain hellfire here. Of course, it's not gonna be often, but you know, you gotta be careful all the same. Anyways. Yeah, you'll see him uh, trying to throw in area of effects like that and try to ruin your day. Oh, work. No work referencing, no. Uh, one minute. that though we run it back we've gotten uh, a sizable chunk I wouldn't say it's perfect but it's a sizable chunk but yeah with that we should be good uh, it won't get us a whole slew of crystals but we just need the core amount that is necessary in order to get as much damage potential off as possible for the occasion but, uh, yes, now that the incursion has ended, it is now time for the rifts to start up once more. 
But uh, it's going to be tier 2 this time, so we're going to have to be ready. And we're going to have to do it immediately, so we're sort of running on a clock now. So what we'll do is we'll quickly hop off our horse. But we're really going to have to rush here. Pause everything. There we go. Alright, first one is over there, so we can rush there. Alright. There we are. Oh, come on. There we go. But yeah. It begins. Okay, first one's over here. So far, so good. Alright, next one is over there. Okay. now and the boss should spawn immediately here we'll leave Daisy over there I'm coming to run here. There you go. 
There we are. And done. Nice. Cool. We did manage to get a new weapon, though, for the looks of it. The Siren. Oh, great. Okay, so we got a repeat weapon, sadly. <laughs> Okay, well, we're grabbing everything that we can here. Okay, we got a repeat of the uh, weakened weapon, which is not what I'm happy about, but we can't really do much about it. So yeah, we got the weakened weapon again, the Siren's Wail, which is not what we want, but... In the end, that's what we're going to have to deal with, sadly, so I guess that is the crossbow that is going to be potentially our last weapon, but we'll have to see. Well, among other things, maybe, but I think we'll be fine. But we'll get a weapon that we like anyways, so it's no big deal. Not too worried to, about the uh, bat hide. We get way too much of that, as to be quite honest. But that's fine. We're making strides here. That's all I care about. Alright, over here now. had to focus there a little bit, but otherwise, that tends to be the norm for me when it comes to these rifts and whatnot. Other than that, we'd be, we'll be fine. Alright. There we go, and done. 
took a bit of damage there at the end, but overall, we just got chunked. So we couldn't really avoid it because it's obviously had to play it safe. As for the rewards, well, it's pretty obvious what we got, so there you go. I will assert my woman. Return to me. Okay, we steed. are gonna go over to this one now. Yeah, uh, let's go over here. There we go. As for what we managed to get, we managed to get our hands on the Exquisite Desire, a blocking move from the Blood Tree. We'll wear it because it's a tier 4 as opposed to a tier 3. Um, puts Fading Snare, increases movement speed. It's a good thing. Okay, well, regardless. Where do we need to go? We need to go over there. Okay. Target is over there. Lovely. because that's better than what we got currently. There we go. And there he is. Now what do we get? We get... Full slew shards. you and yep off we go to focus on this boy Here we are. 
Yeah, no, these these bosses are getting relati re relatively easier to deal with now. Okay. Okay, our next target's up here. I guess, yeah, we can take the northern exit here to get it done. But yeah, no, we seem to be getting blood back every time we'll, we uh, fight in these in this uh, Draculin zone, it seems. Hmm. It could be an effect of the axe, or it could be something else entirely. I'm not sure. sun's rising, but it won't affect us too heavily, as far as I'm aware. We're really speeding through these now, but that's good. That's a very good thing. Okay, that's a 92 blooder. We can always use more high blood uh, dragons. there a little bit, but otherwise we managed to clear those enemies out with relative ease. Overall, not a bad uh, outcome, I'd say, although we did take a lot of damage. Although that said, that can be fixed with just a single potion and a bit of effort on our part, but I digress. We got six more minutes left, so we're going to have to make this one count here. Oh, it's this guy. This is easy. Hello? Yeah, no, 
he's just running away. Okay. They uh, went this uh, route, though. Oh well. There we go. That was easy. Done. Well, I'm not complaining. It just means that we got easier targets. And we got a little bit more time before uh, we've got to get out of here. So we've got four minutes 43. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough time, but we can try. We can certainly try. Uh, let's see. Uh, increases damage by 19. What's a fading snare by 1.6? And damage done by the Death Knight heals for 20. Yeah, we heal for 25 anytime we do that. And we summon a Skeleton Mage with the Death Knight, so... My soul thirsts for your throat! Yeah, we're not in a rush, to say the least. Alright. Off we go over to here. minutes. If we can beat this, we should be fine. Oh god, it's this guy. Okay. Easy. With enough speed, 
Everything is possible, and we managed to get ourselves base the guns. Okay, so nothing that we really wanted, but to be fair, considering we had to rush most of this, I'd say we did pretty damn well. Well, at least the last bit, I should say. But our rewards should speak for themselves. Let's see, we managed to get two high-quality gems, we managed to get the Siren's Whale again, which we don't really need. But it's nice to have another rarity weapon, to say the least, so I can't really complain. But, uh, yeah. Followed by the mass amount of uh, gems that we've been collecting thus far. I'd say that's a small price to pay. And the event is over. We do have nearly 2,000 in materials, so we just need to procure a tiny bit more in order to get two new weapons. But I do believe the Gamba is going to be on the Sanguine Reaper this time, as is the Mace. I think that's the big two things that we did cover. So we're going to aim for those. So off we go over to the Merchant here, and we're going to have him uh, recycle one of the... Uh, sets of gems here to Let get our hands on the next tier of gear. Alright, Reaper. We get ourselves a Blood Infused Scythe with Spell Critical Strike and Spell Cooldown Recovery alongside Physical Critical Strike Power. Hmm. Tempting. Uh, let's see. What is the boons? It's actually a relatively high quality scythe for what it is. And given its blood type, it's actually going to help heal us and keep us alive, so that isn't a bad thing. Um, I guess for now that'll have to do. We're going to head back to the base. Because we can't exactly teleport with our rewards, so we're just going to make do with it. And besides, it costs 1,500 for, for each uh, attempt at the uh, roll. So for a Blood Infused Scythe as a uh, consolation prize, that's perfectly fine with me. I can make that work. But alas, yeah, we made some uh, serious headway on the blood part, so that's good. Increased Veil cooldown recovery rate. Yeah, the, the Veil cooldown recovery rate is probably the biggest thing. And increasing our critical strike to expose people's armor might actually save our lives, so... It's probably going to be a smart choice for us. Never mind the boost to all effects, which we already boost on top of that. But, uh, yeah. We'll worry about those, uh, in a bit, but we're definitely going to have to, uh, prioritize heavy movement on our part. For when we do fight the boss, because... Why not, right? But yeah, no. We'll have to uh, definitely get the 100% flutter for this. Okay. Present chance to ex on critical strike to expose victim's armor. What does that mean? Oh, it increases damage taken from all sources. Okay, so yeah. Maybe going rogue is... Probably the smarter play for us now. Because it's gonna... We're gonna be a bit of a glass cannon as a result, but... Considering we'll be dealing more damage, that might be our saving grace. The alternative is we try and find ourselves a 100% flutter of the, uh... Scholar blood type. Because that's gonna be handy. Herbs, alchemy... Tailoring... Knowledge. Okay, blood potions we'll keep, because we're going to need that. Jewels we'll deposit there. Alright, we don't need the Siren's Whale yet again, so we'll put that away, as well as the gun. Okay, the Frost Infused, I believe it was, that we wanted. Yeah, this gives us more uh, movement speed and spell life leech, as well as this. Yeah, we go with the Lacerators. There we go. Alright, now we just need to make the Onyx tiers, really. That's the only thing. 
I do believe we have everything we need for the Onyx. But we'll have to see. Okay, we take those because we've got no more... Uh... Yeah, we're going to need more power cores. So power cores... We need the gems. Or the uh, blood crystals, if you will. There we go. So, power cores, blood crystals... And I think it was... Was it Greater Stygian Shards? No, it was something else. Primal Blood Essence? I'll grab the Greater Stygian Shards just in case, but I don't think I need those uh, either. I think it might be something completely different. Oh well. As for what we got, uh, it's gold. Right. That is my mistake. But thankfully, we should have plenty of gold, so we can make this work regardless. So, all we do is deposit the alchemy stuff. There we go. Uh, we're actually going to grab all these because we can use these to get upgrades while we're here. Uh, we're going to grab the gold. We've got plenty of it, so that's good. As for the Stygian Awakenings, we might as well get everything at this point. This will get you an achievement, I believe. Uh, I was completely wrong, but you know what? Might as well keep the upgrades because we are going to get a our, uh, bow that is frost-infused. So we might as well take advantage of that. And if it means slowing down uh, what's-his-face, that might actually be a good thing for us. Albeit a small good thing. But still, better than nothing. Anyways. This will be four. And... I am missing key ingredients. We are still missing a little bit more. But we need five, so that way you can complete two of the three. And now we just need a bit more blood crystal, I believe. Yeah. So we need more blood crystal, and then we should be able to make the last four, which will allow us to upgrade everything except for the mace. Which is fine. Okay, we will deposit the gold here. The blood shards, and finally, the alchemy stuff. There we go. Okay, while well, that's processing, we can go out and we can go get our last bits of blood crystal, which we need. So that's going to be our next objective, getting the blood crystal. And off we go. But once we do get the blood crystal, we can basically upgrade our armaments to the next tier. I'm not sure how far we can go with our uh, last tidbit here, but I'm hoping that it's enough for what we're trying to do here. So I'm sort of hoping and praying. But hey, it's fine. Okay. That is a 91 warrior and a 96 rogue. Ah. If it were a 100 warrior, I'd consider it. But at this point, it's like... I don't know. I don't think the uh, numbers are mattering that much for us. Not enough to warrant uh, grabbing them at this point. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't feel necessary, is what I'm trying to say. Just gonna slowly whittle these down all in due time. Nice try. Okay, it's daytime, but I don't think that's gonna affect us much. No, it's not going to affect us, because we're in the uh, Dracula's area. 
technically for Dracula's area. So, yeah. We'll make it work. Well, at least we're getting plenty of blood crystal. That's what we want here, so. Whatever. trying to get at me to no avail. So we need as much as we can get our, our hands on. Yeah. Not that hard to deal with them. It gets easier the higher tier you hear it, though, I would imagine, so. <laughs> oh, it's fun when you can just do that uh, slam attack. That, that's fun. That hurt. Oh, it could be worse, I suppose. And with that, we just need four more. Well, if they're going to be using nuclear fodder like that, I can't really complain. Doing my job for me. Here we go. That's another crystal that we can grab. And by the time we finish with this one... Well... Job will be done for the most part. Okay, so far so good. And this will be the last one. We can ignore board sticks and we don't need to worry about them. There we go. And done. Okay, that is all the crystals basically dealt with and done. Now all we gotta do is just get the heck back to the castle way gate. And then we're good. That is nearly a thousand. That should supply us relatively well. Try to ignore that group. I guess what I can do is I can just do a blood bend when I get the chance, but I do believe it is just passively healing over time, so it's not like it's a huge deal either way. I mean, hey, we're making uh, we're making quite the uh, bank. At least we'll drop the thick hide because we honestly got way too much of it. There is no need for thick hide anymore, as far as I'm aware. Not that I'm aware of, anyways. I think we'll be fine though. 
All right, but with that, go under here, hop off. Let's do a quick blood vent to get ourselves topped off. We are going to need the gold and power cores, but otherwise we should be fine for the last four. Okay, grab the gold, grab the power cores, and you know what? Might as well grab the onyx while we're here. Alright, all the way up. And, yep, we got those. Done. Alright, we'll let those process, and while we wait on those, we're going to deposit everything else. And we'll be on our merry way. Alright. Herbs. Alchemy. That. Okay, we're taking the Onyx tiers because those are all that we need. Let's see. What do we want to upgrade? Uh, we'll probably start with the Longbow, I'm thinking. Because we do want that to be our priority weapon for when we're trying to back up and deal with an enemy. But the Scythe as well as the Slashers are equally as important. I'm probably going to prioritize the Slashers, though, because they are our primary weapon. Weapon attack speed, physical crit strike power, and damage reduction. That's going to help us defend ourselves, at the very least. And it only requires three, now that I think about it, so we don't actually need that much. I keep forgetting that we only need three quarters of uh, what we actually need. So with that, we can actually get the other two here, with the relative ease. Okay, the inevitable sc scourger? Yep, the Inevitable Scourger, and then we got the Knife Hunter's Heart Seeker. So the Inevitable Scourger is good for spell cooldown recovery rates and all that, but the bow is going to help with movement speed and spell life leech. So if we want to get healing done, it's going to be a priority here. But yeah, Frost is going to be the primary thing for the bow, so that's going to help slow down the enemy a little bit. But not by much. But hey, that's where the uh, upgrades come in and all that jazz, right? Alright, but yeah, with that, we just need to get all the buffs in. We're going to grab literally every potion here. For now, that is. Okay. What do we need? Garlic, no. We should get the Vampiric Brew. Potion of Rage. Minor Sun Brew. We should get a Vampire Potion. We don't need the Holy Flask. We need the Fire Resistance. The Witch Potion. I think that's everything. Yeah, no, I think that's everything. There we go. Now, all we gotta do is just get our hands on the EMPs here. There we go. Oh, right. I'm also gonna need our blood type here, so we're gonna consume that. Okay, take the EMP. Swap it out. Alright, we're ready. This is as ready as we're ever gonna be, so let's just... Prepare for the worst. Unfortunately, there is no real way to stop this guy, aside from what we're trying here, so I'm just gonna have to hope and pray that this is what we need. But we will see. We will see indeed. But hey, at the very least, the ride will be faster uh, on the way back, so we're gonna take our uh, wins as we can. Hey, if we can, we'll probably try and use uh, an EMP to try and disable this guy. That might help, but we'll see. I cannot build here. There we go. Okay. 
Here we go. Round two. This is going to be one heck of a fight, to say the least, so... Alright. This is the end of your world. Yeah, the beginning of mine. Okay, I get thrown, that's fine. Death oh, come on. Life. You didn't even give me a chance there. Damn. I am a force of nature. Okay. run wasn't I wasn't expecting to win that but ooh were we close ooh we were close so close but that does mean that our strategy wasn't a bad idea in hindsight we just uh failed to get the combo out properly and we were playing it really unsafe when it came to uh the fight so we just had to play it really cautious if we had played it a little bit more safe we would have gotten the win I feel. But uh, with how much lightning there is, it's just it's overwhelming for the senses, so you panic a little. At least that's what I am, uh, that's what I saw. <laughs> okay. Well, loss aside, we did well. We did amazingly well for the, our first time there. Gonna grab Swap those, there we go. Alright. This day was inevitable. Bow before me. This is your Are you kidding? You 
know what? That would have been nice to draw. I could break these. This would have made this a whole lot easier. Alright. Oh, I see. Not a permanent solution, though. Okay. No. Yeah, no, I expected it. to lose that one. That was uh, a bit me that was me playing a bit too unsafe, but I was focused too more too much on the uh I, I was a little too focused on the uh, whole barrier thing. That was my issue there. But that said, it wasn't a, it wasn't a bad idea. It wasn't a bad idea to focus on those barriers. That said, I don't want to prioritize those barriers, or at the very least, I don't want to prioritize them too heavily. The fact that we managed to get that far without it is good enough for me, so it's a miracle I even managed to do that much. Okay, anyways, regardless, we are... We, we've, we've, got the, we've got the rhythm down, we just need to keep going. Uh, we could probably do one more bounce before we have to back off and then get some more uh, items, but otherwise we are basically in the clear for the most part. Here we go. Alright, round three, here we go. We'll get it. This is the end of your world. And the beginning of mine.
cow. This is only a fraction of my power. Die! Okay. Are you kidding? Stop! Are you serious? The lightning obeys my command. You should too. Okay. No. It's those now die sort of uh, levels of uh, antics that he's really ruining my day with. If not for that, I'd probably have an easier time. Other than that, we are basically doing well. It's just that hiccup that seems to be really ruining our day. I can keep going. It's not like it's a huge deal. But, uh, yeah, no, we can see the difficulty curve coming in, huh? Well, as long as I focus, I should be fine. It's not like it's a huge deal, so... Oh, well. I came in here fully expecting that I was going to lose a couple of times here, so... We'll get the job done. It's just going to take some time. Trial and error. This is the uh, way of the uh, combat system here. The All new right. age has begun. I will bring mankind to its knees. Relax. Are you kidding? Like, seriously. You're giving me no space. Like, holy. Death by my hand isn't and of course I died. I can't Great. Go on. Okay. I need to focus on him, not not the, the lightning. That's just 
I can't focus on anything else but him. Otherwise, I'm just gonna lose myself in the uh, sauce. I'm not gonna focus on using the lacerator as my preferred weapon, and actually, build a strategy against him using those methods. Me. I'll make it work. It's just a matter of time. We gotta win this, though. Gotta win. But yeah, you can see how frustrated I am. This is no, uh, this is no joke. This guy's stupid crazy. This will probably have to be our last run, though, so we are gonna have to go back to base if we fail this one. But we can immediately get the Brute Blood, which will have more survivability rating. But overall, it's still a, a rough slog against this guy, no matter what we do. Alright. I'm not pulling any punches anymore. I'm gonna poke, I'm gonna... I'm gonna lock in. The new age has begun. I will bring mankind to its knees. He got the hit on me there. That's fine. Now die! Ow! This is only a fraction of my power. Patience, patience. <laughs> Strategy has changed now. This is what power looks like. Okay. Oh God! How? There is no dodging that. Okay. 
man. Combined with that slow laser just ruined me. Damn it. Ah. <laughs> Alright, before we go back, we need to go back to our coffin here. Our veins run dry. We must replenish them. Yeah, we need we need our blood. Slumber. Ah. Okay. Frustrations aside, we are doing quite well. It's just the survivability aspect of it all. Okay, so we're gonna quickly go into here. We're gonna take the Draculum blood? No, we should instead take the Brute blood. Alright. Now, teleport back. We've got 37 minutes on the clock here. Let's hope this Shadow is enough. Otherwise, we're going to be in for a rough time. <clears throat> Alright. 36 minutes on the clock, then. Alright, so we were on the right path. We were doing amazingly well. We just needed to avoid a bit more. That's really all it comes down to, but... God, it's a difficulty. Spiking hard. It could just be the fact that Adam is just insanely cracked when it comes to fighting. But I like to believe that I'm just doing something wrong. Oh well, we'll probably be doing it the hardest way regardless of the fact, so... Whatever. Oh, right. There we go. Alright, let's do it. This day was inevitable. Bow before me. Drag him like out here. No, then he just fucking off on me. Yeah, no, he just straight up stops. Oh, are you kidding? Okay, so if you leave the arena, you're basically boned. That's bloody annoying. God damn. Okay. Okay, I guess that's just us then. Rip. All right, well, round two, here we go. At last, I will make this world my own. Let's 
obeys my command. You should too. Okay, back up. hate that. Okay, take it, take it, hit, 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 hit. If there was return to me, my stick. oh god, this reminds me of the goddamn uh, Elden Ring, Elden Ring bosses with how difficult these things are. You have to keep banging your head against a wall. The only issue is that you've got your ability to worry about, which sucks. Ugh. Okay. Oh well. God. Well, it wouldn't be this game if it didn't. Uh, bring about such fury. <laughs> well, I guess not in the late stages of the game, but damn, I wasn't expecting it to go this hard. Okay, we don't have any more healing, so we have to purely rely on our potion buffs here, so unfortunately, that is the gimmick here we're going to be relying on. I will make this world my own. Okay. 
Okay, uh, back. Is this your best? Okay. I guess you just want to throw me around. Nowhere to run. Okay. Ow. Okay. Seriously. Away from me. I'm getting ticked off at this guy. Come on. how you truly beat Adam. And for our troubles, we get ourselves a blood-infused scythe, of all, of all things. <laughs> uh. For our troubles, we get the Soul Shard of the Monster, which gives us weapon attack speed and extra damage against vampires. We have a 20% chance on primary hit to trigger Chain Lightning, and it replaces our ultimate ability with Eye of the Storm. They lose durability slowly as per expected, but that is Bend Yeah. To my that's pretty evident. From beyond, return to my side. Okay. We no longer need to be here. We are finally done. <laughs> that does leave us with one more boss though. 
And naturally, as you can imagine, it's probably the hardest boss of all. Now, assuming we don't get, you know, stomped like that again, we'll be fine. But yeah, no, now we need to go back all the way back to our coffin. Because goodness gravy, we've got a... That was just... <laughs> that was mentally taxing to fight that boss. I, I was dreading the time that we were going to have dealing with that boss, but I'm glad it's over. Although, that's only a prelude, I would imagine. If that boss is any evidence to go by, then that just means we've got a worse fate ahead of us. In the form of a much more dangerous boss, I would assume. That said... I think we're going to be pulling out all the stops and we're going to get that special amulet instead. Because I think we need that high quality upgrade if we want any chance to beating the uh, Dracula. So we're going to need that necromancer amulet and then we should be fine. But other than that, we'll just have to manage. But I digress. We'll get there in the end. It was just a endurance test, if you will. To see how far we could take the blood key. More than anything. But, no matter. No matter. That just leaves us, yeah, with uh, Dracula, I think. So, I guess we're gonna see if we can beat him. Oh. What a journey. <laughs> And I think we still have just a tiny bit more to do, and then we basically complete the game. But hey, we'll see how far we get. See how far we get. After all, just because we complete one run doesn't mean it's over for us, that is. Okay, deposit the materials here. We are going to need to get the dark silver ingots. And what else? Storage rights. We need the storage or Yeah, we need an onyx tier. Thankfully, we should be able to make a plenty of those, so it's not a huge deal. Okay, alchemy. We take the power cores. We are taking the... else uh it's gold and then it was something else wasn't it it's power cores gold and right blood gems we'll make a whole slew of them because why not we really only need one though well i guess we've got more then I'll just make the rest into Onyx Tears, because why not? Alright, we need the third one, which goes here. Pedestal the monster. Here we go. Now, we could go with the normal, or we could go with the Soul Shard of Solaris. I think the Soul Shard of Solaris is probably going to help, because we are going to be fighting Dracula here. So that's the big thing. I can feel my power magnified. And this would probably be the time to figure out what is required in order to upgrade our uh, tools. But we are going to need a Blood Key. The Blood Key is paramount because I do believe it's a required material for us. At least for uh, going into the area, I should say. Of course, but we can't do that just yet, because we do need more potions. So we're gonna just quickly deposit things here and there. Okay, consumables, we can put the charge here, the EMP, if you will. Gonna grab the bottles here. 
We are gonna need a new blood type, I'm thinking, worst case. But I'm just thankful the brute blood type was enough, honestly. Although I suppose you can do it with any sort of blood type. And it would work out, but, you know, we're doing the best that we can here. Take all those. All right. Blood potion. Blood potion. Blood potion. All right. I guess we'll also get a blood potion from you. Let's see. You can have that. You can have that. You can have this. And you can have... Two of... You can have that, and you can have... Yeah, you can have that instead. Okay, now you... Blood Potion? have a sage fish, you we'll get a potion from you. Sage fish it up. Give you that. We'll give the po we'll get a potion from you now. Okay, there we go. Alright. Alright. Hmm. That'd be an interesting situation. Uh, anyways, let's see. Um, do that. Go be... Potion, despite the 11 misery. Oh, we get worker blood this time. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're getting a lot of blood. So this will reduce the misery. This will reduce it even more. This will heal her to full. You'll be reducing a little bit. But other than that, we should be fine. Potion. And you... Potion. Ooh, you got hit hard. For you, another potion, and that should be the last one, as expected. All right, there we go. That's a whole slew of blood potions sorted and accounted for. Deposit all the fish. Alright, so we've now got plenty of healing and plenty of potions to make do for the time that we're doing things. Gonna toss all these blood potions in here. I should have been using Blood Merlot. That is my mistake. No matter. It is perfectly fine. Potions are gonna do... They're gonna do us wonders anyway, so whatever. It's going to get the job done. That's all we care about. So, for this time, we're going to actually use Draculin blood here. Actually, no. Not even. 
we will go with the Brute Blood again, because I know for a fact that's going to be as handy as it is going to be anything else. We've got 13 minutes on the clock already, so I guess Serves what we can do right now is go From and beyond, see what we can do. Return to my side. Yeah, let's give it a shot. We're going to deposit our herbs here. We do need to keep the blood key on us. That is going to be a task and a half, but that's fine. We will toss in the creature blood. Honestly, the creature blood might even be a good idea because it gives us a defense or damage reduction. But I'm not 100% certain. Could I could go damage reduction. I could. I'll think about it. For now, I'm not too worried. We got everything we need. Let's go. So, either I go for the Rift Incursion or I go for Dracula. I'm gonna go for Dracula. I wanna give it a try. See how we fare. We've got 12 minutes on the clock for our potion, so... We might as well give it a few times. See how we fare. And if we do manage to kill him, then there you go. We've uh, done the task that we set out to do. And we get the Throne of Darkness to less, so that's another thing. Alright. Once we pass through here, there's no going back. Let's do it. Dracula's castle. Let's see how we fare. We've come a long way since the beginning. We we come across. Hello, hello. To the Shadow Realm, we go. Time. Let's begin. This An is invited room. guest. Welcome to my realm of eternal night. For your head, Dracula. My blood pulses within you. No matter. It will only serve my victorious return. <laughs> On your knees. Flee will not save you. God, okay. No escape of your fate. Kneel to my dominion. A vortex of blood will always be. Okay, yeah, no, he hits hard. Not the end. He is slow, but he hits like a truck. Oh. I see. So you don't lose your items, you just have to go back in and attack him then. Well, that's convenient. That saves us a whole lot of, lot of trouble then. We just gotta keep fighting him then. 
the center of luck, kid. You wield a fraction of my power, don't you? I do. Let's do it. Round two. Let's the go. The powers you bear belong to me. Surrender them or face your destiny. No escape from fate. No mercy for the weak. Okay. Heal up. There is no escape of your fingers. Darkness comes to claim you. Grovel before the machine. Okay. It's really hard. Huh. Well, we, we got five more minutes. We can make this work. I can do this. I can I can easily do this. It's just time consuming. And you know what? I might even go axes here, because I think the axes may do more damage to him. Weirdly enough as that is. Alright. Retreat in a challenger. Alright, round three, here we go. Of power, a mistake of mine. Thank you for returning it to me. Kneel to my dominion. Okay, I just got a time in here, Ow. On your knees. In my veins, there's an essence of true darkness. Run, little welding.
this. Okay, you know what? We're backing off. We're backing off. Very clear that we're not ready. Bend we're not ready. My <laughs> Return um, to me, my steed. The only thing that's constricting us at this point, honestly, is just the fact that we are not playing it smart. That's the only thing that's stopping us from winning here. I'll make it work. Like, I will assert my it's will. not the first Ethereal time I've bond. managed to, Come you know, back to me. Cracked victory from the jaws of defeat, but we're seriously gonna need to. We're gonna need a race. Yeah, we're gonna seriously need to crack open a. Uh, well, crack open. Crap. Yeah, words. Crack open victory from the jaws of defeat. That's really all it comes down to, huh? Uh, for that, we're gonna need to re-potionize, and yeah. I'm fully expecting to spend a long time on this, so I guess we'll see how things pan out, but ultimately, yeah. I guess we'll see how things pan out. Okay, we take this. We're basically gonna down everything that we have, and just uh, go from there. At the very least, it might be enough. Keyword might. Right. Now, of course, if we time our attacks just right, we'll be fine. But yeah. We need to plan our way uh, through this combat to be a victor. But overall, if we beat him, we beat him. And then we are basically at the end game, if you will. And we'll be the equivalent of a progeny to uh, Dracula himself if we uh, manage to succeed. Alright. Let's do this. Uh, this does mean that we are going to lose durability on our uh, amulet, but I've kind of come to expect that and predict that. We just got to hope that uh, it lasts long enough to be fine. Alright. So, for the combat method, I'm thinking that we need to use... Okay, so whenever he does that dash thing, I'm going to follow up with a Q. That's what I'm thinking of. Anytime he tries to get us into a compromising position, we're gonna hit E and summon a minion to take it, a death knight preferably. And obviously, just keep on, keep pressure with the corrupted skulls and the fallen angel, and then we should be fine. That is how we're going to win, I imagine. Footsteps. An uncommon sound in my timeless domain. All right, Dracula. Let's do this again. My legion stands ready for my return. I will not tolerate this delay. Okay, he knocks us back that way. Interesting.
in the mist unseen. Delicious bloodshed. Ah. You did. Immediately as he dashes, he does that. Okay. You have learned to obey. Okay. I am the ghost of your fears. Ow. There okay. is no escape of your fears. Jeez. Okay. Once he hits second half phase, he's just nuking us with that. That's stupid. Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all, but he's strong. I'll give him that. At the very least we got we got the timing down, so it's not so much a matter of it's just a matter of learning. That's all it comes down to in the end. The powers you bear just has a lot to me. going for him. Surrender them or face your destiny. <laughs> Run, little welcoming. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's how, uh, 
I guess. Ow. Seriously? Irritating. I don't know what to do against that. Like, are we supposed to? I feel like you're supposed to weave through them, but there's so many. I'm not sure what you do. Do you have to get behind him or something? I think you might, guest. but I don't know. Hmm. Welcome to my Irritating. Of eternal night. Oh well, I guess. Make it work, My I guess. blood pulses within you. No matter. It will only serve my victorious return. <laughs> Run, little wealthy. <laughs> Drown in hatred. Believe from 
your inevitable demise! What are you supposed to do here? Oh my god. More How did I survive that? My Embrace your demise. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so the crystals are definitely a priority here. I think that's a given. If I don't focus down the crystals, they just ruined me with so much da damage against me that just... Ugh. Stop that sickening. Okay, well, I'm learning more about the boss. That's the biggest thing. Like, we can get to phase two pretty easily here. But yeah, no, it seems like we need to basically focus on the crystals. Ah, Otherwise, they're just the gonna overwhelm us, came. I think. You wield a fraction of At my least that's power, what I'm you? getting from this whole mess. I think. My first challenger in eons. But man, it's a, a one-man army. Power. This sucks. Let us see how you wield it. No mercy for the weak. Unsettling with how difficult this is, but it needs to be done if I want a, a good victory here. Tell you what, I'll give it a few more tries, but if I fail miserably here, then I will have to uh, concede and have to look it through a guide, because my god, the second phase is just impossibly difficult. But if we. Oh, that was a. The scent of power glitch there. No matter. Mine. Thank you for returning right. it to me. No mercy for the weak. Play it safe. Play it safe. Kneel to my dominion. Lovely. Well, that would be a sign that anything that, anything that could go wrong did go wrong, so I guess we'll see how we fare. And there goes my foot. I'm probably going to lose here. Yep, GG. Okay, well... 
I'm not too surprised. All right, let's let's bow out. As much as I want to continue, we need to repair our gear. So we're gonna need to get ghost yarn, and we're gonna need a lot of it because obviously we need more bat leather, we need more shadow weave, we need a full set of uh, high end gear, and obviously we need a strategy. So I guess this is our L for now. We'll have to make do with it. the most fun experience, as you can tell. Ah, <sighs> well... It wouldn't be, uh... It wouldn't be Dracula if it wasn't that difficult, to be fair. So, I'm not too surprised. But, yeah. It seems like we've got to prepare against fighting Dracula. We've... Temp we've seen the waters, at the very least. That is as much as I can hope for, for the day. So here's what we're going to do. For next stream, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be gathering the materials necessary to upgrade our gear one final time, or getting our gear up to three quarters of the way to full gear sets. Because unless we, of course, get to the full gear set, we probably won't beat Dracula. Even then, we'd need to beat Dracula anyways in order to get the chest piece, which is the biggest thing. But, uh, yeah. Beyond that point, once we've dealt, dealt with Dracula, that's basically game. For, for the most part. We really only need to just decorate the area at that point, and that is a journey in itself. I'm probably going to end it here for now, though. But, uh, next stream, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be upgrading the Malefactor Scholar Leggings. We're going to see if we can't do any further prep to prepare against the uh, Dracula Menace. I highly doubt we'll be able to do it, but, you know, we'll try our best. But yeah, no, the goal is going to be to defeat Dracula, and hopefully we get lucky with it. But I digress. I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I know I did. And I will see you guys next stream. Take care, buddy. And have a good day.